Hi, this is Matt with Triangle Radiant Barrier. With this short video, I'd like to show you how to set up alerts on your smartphone and what those alerts would look like if your crawl space were to exceed 65% relative humidity. We want to keep the crawl space consistently and constantly below that 65% threshold because if we exceed that threshold, the crawl space does become conducive to mildew and mold growth. And if those conditions are not reported promptly to Triangle Radiant Barrier, it can also invalidate your annual service plans, no mold guarantee. Now, when we came out to do the quality assurance inspection, we should have already set up the app on your smartphone and synced it to the thermal hygrometer. If you're having any questions or needs in that regard, please contact us uh, separately. We'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, let's take a look how to set up those alerts and what they would look like. To set up the alerts on your smartphone, you first want to open the Govi Home app. Once you've opened the app, it will display the current temperature and relative humidity being read by your thermohygrometer. If you click on that data field, it will take you to a time graph that will show you the data displayed over hour, day, week, month, year, and so on. At the top right of this screen, there's a gear that will take you to the settings. If you scroll down settings to relative humidity alarm, we want to Pull the slider left from 100 down to 65%. Once we're at 65%, click on Alert Me. Then you're going to go back to the first window there. And at the bottom right, you're going to see there's an icon with a head and shoulders. You want to click on that icon to take you to your profile. Within my uh, the profile window, you want to click on Notification Settings. And then click on Activity Notifications in order to turn those uh, alerts on. Now you notice at the bottom there's an allow email notifications. Uh, that would be a great uh, thing to have. However, the GoV app currently does not allow for email alerts uh, for its hygrometer. Uh, they're working on it, but it's just not there yet. So in the meantime, we're gonna rely on the smartphone apps. Now what you also need to do after you get out of the uh, GoV app is to go to your phone settings. Once in settings, you want to scroll down to notifications and click on notifications. At that point, scroll down to the Govi app and click on the Govi home app. The uh, notifications should be turned on if they're not already on. Then click on all the notifications available, lock screen, notification center, and banners. When you click on banners, it will ask you what banner style that you want, and it usually defaults to temporary. If you leave it at temporary, the alerts will show up for only a short period of time. If you didn't notice it while, the, while it was there, it will go away. So I want to change that from temporary to persistent. That way the alert will remain on the phone until you've acknowledged it, you've swiped it, or you turned it off. And that way uh, it helps to ensure you don't miss the alert. And we can click on sounds, click on badges as well. And that gets you set up with on your smartphone and in your app to receive the alerts. So now let's take a quick look at what the alerts might look like. If your phone is locked, the alert will appear on your lock screen and visible when you go to unlock your phone. It will disappear once you've unlocked your phone, so please take notice if it is there before you unlock your phone. If you select on the alert, it should open the Govi app for additional details. If your phone is unlocked and active, the alert will be at the top of the screen and will remain there in front of any other active app until you swipe to remove the alert. Or you may click on the alert, which should open the Govi app for additional details. As long as you have these alerts properly set up on your smartphone and you're taking note of these alerts when and if they appear, then you will have the peace of mind of knowing that your crawl space is performing the way that it should, or you will receive that passive early warning to let you know if it is not, so that any issues that may come up can be alleviated quickly before they turn into any bigger problems, such as growth of mildew or mold in your crawl space. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Otherwise, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and thank you again for relying on Triangle Radiant Barrier for your crawl space improvement needs.